It is good to see you, Creator. I've got some free animated backgrounds for OBS. It's from a website you've never heard of. They're at 1080p and they're 100% commercial free. Plus, I have two other websites to provide assets that will absolutely help you with increasing your engagement at your live stream. I look forward to showing you. Let's, Let's get, get some. Okay, here's the website. It is named beeple-crap.com. I know that's a weird domain name. That's B-E-E-P-L-E-C-R-A-P.com. You'll know you're at the right place when you see the moving forest with laser beam animation. Click resources and it will take you to the resource page. It looks like this. At the top it says, these 4D project files are available under the open source concept. And he goes on to say, that they were initially designed for educational purposes, but you can use them commercially. I mean, he doesn't ask for any attribution, but it would be really cool to give attribution, maybe put a link back to his website or his YouTube channel. He has a YouTube channel. If you scroll down, uh, you, you get to see the kind of caliber of animations that we're talking about here. We've got a lot of tunnel animations, all kinds of stuff, lots of stuff. It's all 1080p and it's located on Vimeo. So if you click a video here, it'll take you to Vimeo. Here's one of the animations, and I will provide a demonstration. It'll only be like a 15-second demo showing these animations in just a second. If you scroll down, you'll see a download button. It opens up a pop-up, and then you can choose the resolution that you're looking for. As you can see at the bottom here, we have two downloads. One is, a, I believe, a compressed 1080p, which is only 16 megabytes, but then they have the full-scale one here at 482. That's the one you want to download for your OBS show because that provides the best resolution. That's how you download them. Let's get into the demo. The author of these amazing animations is Mike Winkleman and he has his own YouTube channel called Beeple. Click this link right here It'll take you right over that channel and you can check out what he has to offer for your channel and your live streams Now if you don't know who I am, my name is Scott and you can consider me a video software technology explorer I'm on an eternal quest to find all the cool software to make your videos more engaging and super cool If you like what you hear subscribe and click the bell for new weekly notification now the next thing that we're going to dig into is a website that provides randomization of information like numbers, true or false, or yes or no. So if you have some kind of a gaming scenario with your live stream, you're going to love this next segment. Let's go. Now the name of the website is called flipcoinonline.com. You know you're at the right place when you see a golden coin with the word heads on it. And if you click the coin, you'll see that it randomly selects heads or tails, which is really cool. And right below the blue button, you'll see a tally of each choice, which is super cool. If you go to the roll a dice, it gives you dice. And if you click the roll dice button, it randomly selects different dice number for you. And it has a third button, which is a yes or no for the coin. When bringing this into OBS, if you decided to extract the white background, it could be problematic because the white text inside of the coin or the dots on the dice would also become transparent. But I have a way to do this. It's not complicated. Let's pop over to OBS and I'll show you how it's done. Here we go. All right, I just opened up my OBS program and I'm going to click the plus sign in sources and select window capture. And I will type in randomizer here. You can type in anything that you want. Click OK. And I'm going to select in the window pull down here, I'm going to select flipcoinonline.com in my Brave browser, okay? And it brings it right into OBS. All right, awesome. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is hold down my Alt key and click the handles and hold and drag them so that I don't see any other parts of the website and just make it like about like yay. And then I can let go of my Alt key and resize it just so it's a little bit larger. And I'll just test it here by clicking the button. There we go. Looks really good. Okay, so let's get rid of that white background, but yet leave the whiteness of the dots on the dice intact. So I'm going to go and right click on the source and select filters and click the plus sign in the lower left hand corner. And I, it's not going to be chroma key. It's going to be color key. That's the selection you want to make here. Hit OK. And there's a key color type. It's a pull down, select 
custom color, select color and make that white, hit OK. And as you can see, there it is. You can see that the white of the dots is still there. And um, make sure that you copy these parameters here. Similarity is right on that side. You can adjust it just a little bit just to keep that whiteness in there. The smoothness, uh, opacity is 100%, and the contrast brightness and gamma, of course, are dead center. You can adjust this to your heart's content. But for the most part, that's where the slider should be. Okay, hit close. And now when I hit the roll dice, the edges are a little bit white, but they do go away when the animation stops. So it may be to your benefit to have these placed on a lighter background so that aliasing goes away. I think that's what they call it, aliasing. So that's about as good as it gets in regards to not removing the whiteness of the dice. Now for full disclosure, it looks like the website is copyrighted and there is an email for contact underneath of that. So if you're monetized, you may want to reach out to the author of the website just to get permission to see if it's doable. Now the next website that we're going to talk about is a great way to keep people hanging out during the countdown of your live stream because what it is is a keyboard but it's not just any keyboard people who are visiting the live stream can see the URL that you place there and they can go to that web page and play the keyboard together let me show you what I'm talking about this is a really cool website okay here's the website it's called musiclab.chromeexperiments.com forward slash shared piano and I'm going to go over the settings real quick and then I'll show you how to bring it into OBS extract the background while keeping the keys white uh, it's a different technique you'll see how to do it this is a lot of fun and this will keep people engaged right before your live stream starts let's go okay here we are in OBS the first thing we need to do is click the plus sign and just like before we're going to select window capture hit OK you can name it whatever you want Go into the window with a drop down and select the browser tab that contains your Music Lab piano. So in this case, it's a Brave browser and it says Chrome Music Lab. I'll click that and it brings it right in. We'll hit OK. Now we want to make sure that we extract everything that we don't want to see. OK, so I'm going to hit the Alt key, grab the handle and drag it down just below that gray line right there because we want to see the notes fly up when we strike the keys. I see these little notes pop up, those green things. We want to see that because it's cool. But the bottom part, we can scroll all the way up to the bottom of the keypad just like that. Perfect. Now we're going to extract that white background. So we'll hit the right key, filters, hit the plus and go into chroma key. All right, we'll do color key. Hit OK. Go into custom color and select white. Hit OK and close. So now we're on a black background. We can see the outlines of these keys, but it looks funky. So what we need to do is click the plus sign again and add a color source. Hit OK. Select color white. Hit OK again. OK. We'll hit our Alt key and shrink this down in size. OK. And it's on top of the keyboard, so we're going to grab the layer that says color source and bring it below the capture. And now the whiteness is below the keys. I think you can see where I'm going with this. I'll hit the Alt key and make sure that I can get this thing the same size as the keypad. There we go. Perfect. Good, good, good. Now what's important while you do this is you may want to lock the, the keyboard layer that's above the color just so that when you select it, you're not selecting that layer. That looks pretty good. I'm digging it. It's good enough for government work. So the next part now is to test it. And let's see if the notes come up. They do. Looks great. So the next thing we need to do is put the link to this room as part of the screen so that your visitors can come in. So let's do that now. I'll do my magic clap. Yes, here you have it. I've got somebody live playing with me right now. I'm teaching them how to play the... Close Encounters of the Third Kind song. So here we go. <laughs> it's so much fun. I can't even tell you. When people see this on your countdown timer for the beginning of your show, they are going to lose their mind. This is the ultimate engagement system. This is next level. I hope you enjoy it. I will catch you on the next video. Here's the next video. Click it right here. Stay strong. Keep fighting. Best wishes. And remember... The journey to succeed, the struggle, is part of the reward. Trust me, I'll catch you on the flip side.